like uh, Colors and Geist, too. I was surprised to hear I haven't actually played that many sets in Ultimate. Uh, Carls and Karinol, um have met up with each other quite a few times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, they played at the other Weekly Tuesday. I can't quite remember. Um, but yeah, no, they've definitely played a few times. And in general, I believe Carls has gotten the better of this so far in Ultimate. Uh, yeah, maybe. I can't... Yeah, and I, I like that's what I expect. Yep, I like seeing Karenel go Ike. Uh, he's been, you know, kind of sticking with the Rosa comfort for a while, but he's starting to kind of make that transition. You want to be a top tier player. <laughs> <laughs> and Carl straight into it with the speed. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, you know, maybe he just changed up his playstyle a little bit. Normally, he kind of goes straight for that Buster. Last time I saw him, he went straight for a shield, which I didn't get, but speed makes a lot of sense to go for straight. It lets you uh, get in faster and start off neutral better. And here's yeah. the buster. There's the buster, the extra damage. Ooh. Karenol punishing it pretty hard. Oh, unfortunate. He wasn't quite prepared for the backslash. Okay. Slowing it down. Wow, I'm surprised not to see him out of shield against the uh, dash tag. Right. That was a good punish to the backslash. Okay. And just missed the back of there. So how hard is it to avoid the eruption as uh, the Shulk? Um, it really depends on the timing for the eruption, I think. Yeah, there. Well, Carol taking the first stock. He's off to a pretty good start here. And he is not afraid of Carl's right now. He is going in, looking for those nares. He's trying to start up his big Ike string. No, yeah. He needs to land Nares. Nares will, uh, I guess, the most final drawn. As Carl somehow roll dodges across the entire stage and doesn't get punished. <laughs> it's always crazy to see it happen in Ultimate because obviously the roll dodge yeah. has changed and, yeah. Roll stales now. I never understand Carl's Monado choices. I mean, going to, for Buster when they're already at 130. Uh, well, Ike is, is a little bit on the heavier side, you know, so yeah. I'm surprised not to see him challenge the, uh, the side beat, though, do you think? Um, he might have just from experience knows that Karen will mix up the timing and spacing, and just, he just decides it's not worth it. Alright, and going for the shield, not wanting to die. Yeah, you kind of do right. expect Carl to be a little bit more the guy who's kind of playing his character. And Karenol, you know, much more of a, like, a cerebral playstyle, right? Not as focused on, like, being super ultra-mechanical, but way more into, um, you know, the my game aspect. But that, that was all straight mechanics. <laughs> That's just Ike stuff. He gets it for free, and it is brutal. Oh, and no. this is also going to be really painful for Carl. Yeah, Karenol's just kind of going in right now. Yeah, that's uh, not what you're looking for. When you when you press Buster, you don't want to be the receiving end of the sixth right. damage. Because <laughs> you also take the extra damage. Yeah. That is one thing that I'd like to see uh, a little bit out of Carl's as he kind of develops in this game is um, being okay with giving up his, like, power Monados, right? Must right. Like, a lot. Yeah, a lot of the time he does kind of like what we just saw there, right? He could change the Monado during hit stun. So he could have just gone to shield and given up the buster. But Carl kind of lives life on the edge, you know, and just sits in the buster and says, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna figure out how to DI out of this combo. I'm going to escape it on my own and then use the buster to get the damage that I need. But not working out there. I just want to one day understand his Monado choices because <laughs> always starts off with a different one. He started off with shield every game I saw uh, last time we played. I didn't get it. Interesting. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll tell you after the game. Um, so yeah, going to his Unova. Yep. Um, see, I want to say interesting counter pick, but that's just because I love this stage as Ike. Um, so I wonder why Carl's chose it. But Karen and I have very different opinions on what Ike's best stages are. Um, well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think his Ike's up till it reach the platform. Uh, no, but I think the platforms are really good height for, like, short hop, uh, hop air. Oh, so, like, the Nair follow-ups, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. But and also, like, camping underneath the platform. But mm -hmm. this was Carl's choice, so 
I think he's doing it because, yeah, the up tilt hits the platform. Right. And the short hop Nair also covers the entire platform. Mm -hmm. Short hop Fair covers the entire platform, so it's really um, scary if you get caught on there. There's a lot for the Shulk to do, but... Once again, Karen will kind of reversing the scenario on that Buster, and it's Carl who took the big beating. Yeah, which is like a few hits. And yeah, Karen got a free comeback off of uh, getting out Carl. of the Nair up there. That's really good for Carl. Oh, there we go. Uh, smash. Oh, he was looking for that uh, the up special off stage. Yeah. Mm. Upper is going to take it. Yep. Carol okay. is looking really clean with the Ike so far. I mean, I'm enjoying seeing him, you know, kind of get the, get the red matters down. Wow, not going to kill. kill. That, that's very surprising to me. Especially okay, not yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we got two stock game right now. Oh, this is a scary spot. Okay, going for the hard read is Carl and doesn't get the tech chase follow up. It's always a weird one. When you feel like you've got the read and you're going for just like a straight smash, I kind of wish that um, you know he could have gotten more of just the jungle combo off of it, or like followed him on the ground into another re-grab or something to kind of keep that I can disadvantage state. But when both players together. jumping around nearing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of a lot of straight hits right now. Get a cloud in here, make it a free for all. Everybody can jump around, and press near. <laughs> So many swords. Very good awareness from Karenal. Still avoiding the buster. He really hasn't been punished by that Minato. And, and to me, like that's the scariest one. When I'm playing against Shulk, that's the one where I'm like the most nervous. Yeah, I mean, all the Minatos like have their uses, but yeah, I can understand uh, what Buster being the most nervous. I'm always nervous about Shield just because of how fast the uh, Earth speed, because of how fast speed Shulk is. Yeah, Nerefer won't connect that that specific Ooh. setup. Ooh. Uh, Karen will feel it himself a little bit. Yeah, nice. Going for the counter, but just getting grabbed right out of it. Jump. Ooh. Interesting choice with jump. Uh, yep, Nair up air again. Okay, got another edge guard situation. Okay. Carl making it back. Ooh, looking for the Nair combo, but kind of got an awkward hit. Karen will catching with a backswing twice. And there we go. That smash right into it. So basically a one star game at this point. Not basically. It yeah, really I mean, is. actually. <laughs> it's more or less, still more or less even. Man, I'm surprised Carl's is respecting Karen's landing options so much. You would think that uh, you know, the Shulk, when he's got the juggle, has the total advantage state. Once again, punish the Okay. This time, not being too cocky. He okay, yeah. drops the buster. Jump but really useful for him there. Man, it's crazy how much Carol's getting off these edge guards when, you know, it really you expect it to be the other way around. Right. I should be more of an edge guarder than. Er, yeah. Shulk should be more of an edge guarder than Ike, but that's not exactly what we're seeing. Boy. And Carol's looking for the normal stuff, trying to get that Nair to up air. I don't know if it'll kill with shields, but. No, not a right shield. Now. Yeah. Still fishing for that Nair to up air. And Carl's punishing on the landing. Nice. Edge guard scenario. Not able to get anything out of it. Man, Carl's is just like so scared to pressure Karenal, even when he has him in disadvantage. Yeah. I think when you see him switching the shield in the neutral, you can tell how scared he really is. Yeah, he's just trying to not die. But. He's basically out of Nair up air percents, which means that Karenal kind of has to kill off a stray hit at this point. Uh, which means that Carl's, you know, maybe a little riskier. Yeah, I'm curious. I haven't seen their most recent sets, um, so I'm not sure if this is kind of the way it's been going. I, uh, maybe it is the case that Karenal has kind of reversed it here, and he's got more of the read on what Carl's is trying to do, because you're seeing a lot of scenarios. Carl's trying to respect him a lot, and uh, Karen will kind of giving him the business, <laughs> especially the Buster turnarounds. Yeah. They've been jumping around w with an aerials and shielding for so long so now. Long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Super good counter by Carl. So yeah, I, I, you know, if you're gonna save the edge guard tech for the very <laughs> moment, you know, that's a good spot. No, yeah, that's <laughs> definitely a really good spot. There. Uh, I, I won't expect to see too many more visions. 
Um, I think it was good of Carl's to kind of save it. It's really, you know, I expect him to jump out with the fair, with the nair, um, and the uh, the air slash, and contest that the Ike side beat. Because I, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that um, Shulk's aerials have uh, the range to. I'm pretty sure they do, yeah. Um, and no, vision's not really one you want to be throwing out there. Right. Um, counters in general do do well against like sometimes when I see players you know, going for like not going for the, some of the more timing specific punishes like that I do kind of attribute it to a little bit of a, the Wi-Fi warrior mentality oh no I just okay. making it back <laughs> Ooh. I, I was, was scared for Karenal there no so going to Castle Siege Karenal insists uh, that this is Ike's best stage I yeah. kind of agree with him. I get what he's going. Uh, Nair back air kills like super early. Oh yeah. Um, and the platform's a really good height for like Ar Ike to camp underneath. Uh huh. Um, but Carl's is in the lead right now, so yeah, he got the Buster. It's it's like a coin toss, you know, and it kind of decides the pacing of the match. Mm -hmm. And this time, Carl able to make his Buster with an auto work out for him. Ooh, oh, nice shield. Very good timing on Carl's part. Man, I miss this song. Uh, I I miss hearing it in early brawl when uh, cast. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little, It does trigger me a little bit though. The the DD uh, chain grab on the walk off stages was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. Uh, and Karen a brawl player himself, so I'm sure he has like a higher level of comfort with this. Like Carl yeah. was just played four, correct? Um, I'm not a hundred percent. He was on the early Smash 4 PR, so I think he might have played Brawl, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, regardless, you always want to make sure you ban the weird stages against Brawl players. Man, uh, he's throwing the shields out a little early now. I, the first one was really good, but yeah. that one was kind of just like... Maybe... It has something to do with like the recharge times for the other Monados, I don't know. You know, I think it's kind of a player thing where um, Carl knows that Karenal's going to back off when he presses shield. So he kind of gets to land for free. Oh, Ooh, nice, nice forward tilt. tilt. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was going to kill anywhere, but it shows like, you know, small side blast. Right, the but stage. Carl had been uh, only getting grabs out of that scenario up until there. So. Yeah. Wow, the plus three damage on shield is nutty. Oh, that's right. I think if you get hit by both hits of down smash from Buster, it'll kill your full shield. Like, it'll shield break you. I full. <laughs> wouldn't be surprised. Monados are kind oh, of super strong. Yep. And there's that back that air that back we air. talked about. Yeah, yeah. he's going really early. No, there's a reason why Karenal chose this as his counter pick. Mm -hmm. um, if you play Karenal in the future, I would recommend banning this stage. <laughs> especially if he's going Ike, especially. Okay. Yeah, the start of a big chain there. Got a couple of nears in a row, and the dash attack follow up. Carl able to sneak his way out of that edge guard scenario, though. Hey, well, we're back to shielding aerials and throwing shielding. out our own. <laughs> yeah, it's basically that's how these two have always played. That's how oh, they're yeah. always gonna play. <laughs> um, I'm kind of surprised no one's gotten brutalized the way they're using their double jumps. Um, you know, center stage. You could get punished super hard by a big juggle. And there, I, we're seeing Carl's discomfort with um, edge guarding the side B. See, the problem with edge guarding the side B is um, well, one, you don't want to get hit by it. And also, if it hits you, um, then the Ike gets, uh, doesn't go into special fall, basically. Right. I see what you're so, actually, a really nice recovery mix up for Ike is to just hit them with the side B and then jump. Ooh. Really good turnaround up back air. And there's the back there's air. There's the back air, yeah. yeah. Cross stage, even. So, if yeah. that was Pokemon 2, I think Carl's lips. Probably, yeah. Um, so right now, technically, uh, this counter pick's working out well for Karenal, but he's going to need to actually do something with the stock lead right now. Saw no we saw another curious buster there. Like you said, it's kind of weird to go for it when your opponent's already at like 130. Um, especially especially because Buster has reduced knockback, so there was a chance where, you know, mm -hmm. something that would have killed then didn't. Yeah, I think um, it's just because Carl's struggled to land KO moves in general against Karenal, so 
the extra KO percent. Yeah, it makes stuff yeah. like that forward air on stage. Ooh, he's going for the vision again, but not able to make it work out that time. Colonel just letting, basically letting him recover, not going for anything risky. And Carol's really good at this. That like scenario, this scenario where you really just need to hang on to that stock, get your chip damage in. And yep, he's just gonna keep on living. Yeah, he yeah. just he has great DI and he's really able to extend his stocks. You know he's gonna recover with the side B, but he notice he mixes up uh, where he was. That dash attack, gonna do it. Yeah, can't really show Carl's, oh, Carl's pretty unhappy with himself. He still has a must yeah, that's <laughs> still a <laughs> Carol doing the Ike pose. Oh my gosh. The Ike victory pose.